rolling. Okay. Hi, and welcome to Rubles Rambles here at the Maycumber Center. So I've done a lot of talking in these past weeks about Mars and Saturn and all their antics, which you should watch if you missed it. But today I'm going to talk about some stars that you can see. So if you've got a clear eastern horizon, you may have noticed a bunch of bright stars um, spread out over from it all the way through the northeast, rising as night falls. That's the Summer Triangle, because as you probably know, in the northern hemisphere here we're approaching summer, and so that means the Summer Triangle is rising. The Summer Triangle is more of a late summer thing, but it's still starting to rise as night falls, and it gets well, very, very high in the sky by like 2 a.m. But so the Summer Triangle, is I've rambled about it before, it's made up of three stars, Deneb, Vega, and El Altair, as you can see in this picture. So it's not, it's a little weird shaped triangle, but it's a triangle. So you should definitely be able to spot these, as you can, as you can see, um, Deneb and Vega are more in the northeast, and then Altair rises in the east, and as you can also see, this is around 10 o'clock local time. Um, so... That's cool. It's cool to, it's a good way to be able to find your way around the sky in the summer. I also wanted to talk in particular about one of those stars, um, Vega, and its constellation, which is Lyra, which is a heart. Um, so Vega is nice and bright. It's one of uh, three stars, the others being Arcturus and Capella, that are almost exactly zero with magnitude. So if you want to... Um, the ma astronomers tell the brightness of stuff in magnitude, and so if you want to um, have a point of reference, zero's magnitude is around where Vega is. Also, um, if you last week looked at like Antares and Saturn and Mars, right now Antares, Antares is always ar around exactly magnitude one, Saturn right now is at magnitude zero almost exactly, and Mars right now is almost exactly at magnitude negative two. And so you can see the differences in brightness. It's a logarithmic scale, so every magnitude is two and a half times um, brighter than the magnitude before, with the negative magnitudes being brighter. But so in the constellation of Lyra, as you can see with Vega in it, there is another star up there on the left called Epsilon Lyra, which is actually two stars. But one of the cool things about this double star is that you can see it with the naked eye if you've got moderately good vision. So I'd encourage you to go outside and check out and see if you can see um, Epsilon Lyrae 1 and 2. Also, if you have a telescope and you look at it, it's actually a double-double. So each of the two components is a double star that you can split with the telescope. But with your naked eye, you should still be able to see two stars pretty close together in the east. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Check out like Vega, Antares, Saturn, Mars, Jupiter, all kinds of stuff. Um, and if you have any trouble finding anything, ask me and clear skies.